I'm going to show you how to access the certification test for records officers. If you um, are a records officer who does not work for the state, but works for a different governmental entity somewhere in Utah. So um, after you have logged in to the records officer hub, you're going to click take certification test, which will bring you to this login screen. Um, it's a simple login. You're just going to put in your email address. And then the password is always going to be the same. And they give it to you right here in the instructions. It says your default password is password one. So you're going to type that in and click sign in. And it will bring you right to the course in the Utah Learning Portal. Um, the first time you come in, it will say that you're not registered until you've scrolled down and started one of the classes or enrolled in one of the classes. It will just say not registered until you do that. Um, this information here is an overview of the course. You only have to take one of the classes, which are assessments. They call them classes here in the Utah Learning Portal, but um, they're really the actual test. Um, and there's one about grammar and um, the records access laws and how to respond to a request. And then there's a test about records and information management um, principles and application. So um, I have already started this one. So we'll go ahead and click view details and that will uh, bring it up ready to launch. And when I click on that, it's going to open it in a pop-up window. So if you have a pop-up window blocker, you're going to want to disable that for this site. And I am going to need to share a different screen in order for you to see um, what has come up. So let me, let me change and show you that. Okay. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the test looks like. It actually allows you to look at all the questions like this and um, so that you can go to them in whatever order you want or you can go back to one that you um, wanted to think about a little bit more. Um, they're mostly multiple choice and, and the introduction gives you links to the study materials as well as the statute. And we give you citations throughout the test um, so that you can look it up in the statute to see um, what the right answer is or what the information in the statute says about this so that um, you will hopefully get some practice in using that resource as you take the test. Um, since in real life you would have access to the resource, we're not asking you to memorize things, just um, hopefully to learn how to use them. Um, so you'll go through the test, and when you complete, it will let you know you, you'll, that you're done and, and ask you to submit. Um, if you want to stop at any time, you can do that by exiting, and you just need to tell it um, no, you're not done with the test, and it will save your progress. You can come back at any time. Um, and as you see, it takes me right back to the course in the Utah Learning Portal. If I had completed it, it would bring me back here after showing me uh, my score. Um, oh, sorry. See, I need to change the window that I'm sharing with you. Um, it... it uh, pop-up window. Okay, so it'll bring you back, back here. Sorry, you didn't see all of that, but it just brings you right back here when you exit the test. Um, and so, uh, again, you only have to take one of the assessments each year to count as um, 
completing the course. And when you're done, this will say that you've successfully completed it. It will give you an option to print your certificate. It will email you your certificate as well. And um, you can get in, log back into here at any time to see this information. So that is how you can access the certification course in the Utah Learning Portal.